All right, we're going to make a video. We're going to talk about the question John M. asked me. And I kind of made a video before about talking about uh, bet denoms and percentages and uh, what's best to play, whether you're at one cent, uh, two cent, five cent, ten cent. But I'm going to kind of expand on that. So, John, you said that you've seen me in several past videos that I would rather play at the one cent denom betting at the higher level on the right side of the denom. So meaning that if I if I click one cent and I turn the camera down, betting $5 here versus going to a dollar and betting $5 here. And so you, you'd asked uh, why is that? Maybe explain a little more on why I do that. Um, and then also, does it trigger more bonuses, or is there a payback better? Uh, you know, just some, some questions like that. So we're gonna talk about that as we play here. I'm gonna start on the one cent, and we're gonna start on the $5 to so the max end of one set. I'm gonna put $200 into the one cent, $5 denom, and then we're gonna do the same thing on dollars. We're gonna put $200 and play the $5 on that, and you'll kinda of see a comparison between the two. Um, so keep in mind on one cent on this machine, if I took a very educated guess, we're probably about an 87% uh, return to players, right about 87%, I bet you on this machine. Um, volume is all the way up. So yeah, we're about 87% return to player. Now if we go to the dollar, right, same $5, right, because we're gonna go to the dollar, we're gonna bet $5, uh, but because we're in the dollar denomination, uh, that player return or return to players probably on this machine, I'd guess 91 to 92 percent, somewhere right around in there. Uh, so typically, the higher denom, the higher the return to player is. Uh, also, Nevada gaming laws just says that it has to be. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be set at 91 or 92, but you know, casinos are going to put them a little bit, you know kind of player friendly because they want you to win. They don't want everybody to go home broke, otherwise nobody would come back, right? Um, so does that mean you should be playing dollars over one cent? Uh, you know, because you're getting maybe 4%, potentially maybe even 5% return to player. I mean, some places you could be at 94, 95% return to player on dollars, but I really doubt on Dragon Link. Uh, so anyways, what should, does that mean you should be playing dollars? Nah, I don't think so necessarily because you're not really going to notice that, that, that return to player difference. You know, that is over the life cycle of this slot machine, which is, you know, about 10 million spins. So you can sit down and get a big jackpot and your return to player during that session could be 5,000%, right? Well, that's not what this machine was set at, but because you had a really good session, right? But then you also could sit down and 100% lose it all and have a 0% kind of return to player. Maybe you got a little bit of feedback as you played, but overall you ended up losing everything. Um, again, it's because it's just, you know, anything can happen in a short period of time, but over the long run, 10 million spins, the machine's going to balance, balance out. Um, so advantages of playing the dollar denom. Well, one of the advantages besides return to players, you look at that minor, it's 1250. You look at that many, it's 250, right? Significantly more if we go to the pennies, our minor's 50 bucks and the mini's $10, right? It's not very much more at all um, than, than your bet amount, right? So does that mean you should play the dollars to try to get that 1250 minor? I mean, I've gotten it once, but it's rare. So here's my thought on that. Is if you're betting $5 on, on pennies, you're more likely to get minis and minors, right? Because I've had people ask me like, holy cow, how come you get so many minis? Or how can you get so many minors? Like I never see them on my screen. I'm like, well, the difference between a $5 bet on pennies and a mini is two bets, 10 bucks. It's nothing, right? So of course the mini is gonna appear more often because it's literally only two bets away. And as the minor, it's 50 bucks, so it's only 10 bucks away. But if we go to dollar denom, right go back to that dollar denom and that mini's at 250 so 
and the miner's at 1,250. That is a lot further away, right? So because it's so much further away, you're just not gonna hit it more as often, right? That's like, that's like hitting a $250 ball on the penny, you know? I mean, that's, it's hard to get a $250 ball. Can it happen? Of course it can, I've gotten them several times. But it's still harder to get. You're more likely to get $5 balls, right? And a $12, $50 ball, that is so far away from five bucks. Of course, it's gonna be much harder to get. Um, so you're not really gonna get the minis and miners as much on a $5 bet on dollars as you will on pennies. But why do I like the pennies on right side also? Well, it's not showing it right now, unfortunately. The slot's not doing what I'd like it to do. But oftentimes when I'm playing the far right side of the column here, these numbers you'll see often drop bigger, right? I'll see the thousand, which is a hundred, um, uh, you know, a hundred dollar ball, or ten thousand, excuse me, on pennies. Uh, you'll see the hundred dollar balls. I'll see even 75, 250. Uh, I've even seen five, gotten five hundred dollar balls. I just see those balls tend to land more often, more frequently when I play on pennies max to the right side than when I play on dollars on the lowest end, which is five bucks. You know, I, I see a lot of five, ten, and 15, $25 balls, but I rarely see the $250, $500 dollar balls. Do I see them at times? And have I gotten them before? Of course. But from my perception, it just seems like they don't come as often. And so that's kind of why I, I like this range of $5 on pennies versus uh, $5 on dollars. Now I do play $5 on dollars at times. You know, I like to try to go for it and see if I can get that 1250 minor. Um, like I said, I have gotten it before in the past. What the heck, I'm betting, how did I get down to, I didn't even realize it, but I'm betting, that's why my numbers were so small, because I was betting 50 cents, I didn't even realize it. Some of you were probably hollering at me through your computers going, hey, idiot, change your Denom back up. Uh, when I switched over to dollars, it must have dropped my bet or something. Now I know why my numbers were showing so small. But you saw those flashes by those big numbers coming through. Doesn't mean you're gonna get them, right? I see the, I see the major flash through all the time too. Doesn't mean you're gonna get it. Uh, does the bonus trigger more often uh, on pennies or dollars? I don't think so, no. Um, I don't think that that has anything to do with it. Uh, the machine's just set at a return to player percentage and so the machine's gonna play out to, to that programming. I don't think the machine is necessarily programmed to say, oh, if you're playing pennies, you're gonna get the free games or ball bonus one in every 50 spins, but if you're playing dollars, you're gonna get it one in every 45 spins. I just don't think the machine's programmed like that. I think you've just got you know the same odds to get. Uh, oh, there we go, there's C, 75, 250, that's what I'm saying. You see those bigger numbers a lot more often when I'm at the phone. It's finally kind of showing what I'm talking about. But anyways, it's, it's, I don't think it's programmed to trigger the bonus more often, but what it does affect is the ball numbers, right? The ball numbers, depending on your bet amount, uh, can fluctuate more or less depending on your bet amount. All right, so pennies is not doing us any good right now, unfortunately. Come on, get a bonus. Nope. All right, I got another two hundred dollar ticket. We're gonna go to dollars now. So the pennies definitely didn't play out like I'd liked it to have. You know, I didn't. I, I messed up there for a while playing on the fifty cents, um, but it didn't didn't get a bonus. I bet it's it's Dragon Link. You can easily put in you know, a few hundred bucks and not get a bonus. That happens a lot. But you can also put in a few hundred bucks and get a huge payout. 
right? You know, when I play $5, whether I'm on pennies or whether I'm on dollars on Dragon Link, when I get the ball bonus and it's all said and done, it, it's really close often to around $100, give or take 20 bucks, 105, 115, 120, sometimes 90. That's where it lands a lot. But I've gotten more often when I've played pennies, I've gotten four, five, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars on pennies because I've gotten some of those big balls uh, than on dollars. I haven't got as many um, big, big numbers on the pennies. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten, I mean, excuse me, on the dollars. I've gotten them in the four or five hundred dollar range before in dollars, but it just doesn't seem to just come as often. It seems like when I finally get the ball bonus on dollars, it's always five and ten dollars. So fifty, I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy with any bonus for that matter. Oh man. So hopefully that kind of explains some of my thought process um, on this, on the uh, you know, difference between kind of playing the $5 penny denom or $5 dollar denom, or even the $5 anywhere in between, right? But my biggest thing is play what uh, you feel is best for you, what you enjoy the most, right? Don't let... Uh, too many opinions sway you. Obviously try to do your best to be smart, smart with your budget. I'd be curious uh, your guys' thoughts, if people have got other, other thoughts that I'm missing, or if you think that I'm just totally in left field, I'd appreciate to hear it. But, but unfortunately I've had a lot of draggling experience. I played it, probably played it more than I should have. But I do enjoy it at times because you've got I've gotten some huge hits. I mean, like today I was in the Aria Highland room. I put 200 bucks in, third hit, got a 20 dollar jackpot. You know, third hit on a 25 dollar bet. And that's always a lot of fun. But right now this one is skunking me out. Happy, prosperous uh, Terry has definitely let us down. I know Terry's a big Happy Prosperous fan. But John, I appreciate you asking the question and bringing up the topic. Hopefully I gave a good enough uh, uh, description or talked about, hey, finally got a bonus, 20 bucks left. There you go, about time, right? All right, now let's drop that minor and prove me wrong how amazing dollars can be. Died off quick. All right, we'll give it a little more since it gave it to us. Maybe we can get one more in it. I almost want to go back to pennies and play it on the five dollars there, but maybe that wouldn't be fair to dollars since it's the one that gave us the bonus. Not like the slot machine cares, it doesn't have feelings. Also, $5, one other thing I need to point out, on dollars, you're only playing five lines, right? You're, you're just playing five lines. So you got line one, two, three, and then four, 
five, right? That's it. That's all you're playing. So you, you, when you do hit a line, you're going to get paid out more, right? Because it's each dollar you're actually spending a buck. Where on pennies, um, you're not, you know, you're not, you're at 50 lines, right? So there's so many ways. So that five dollars is broken up over 50 lines. So you've got more ways to get paid, but each one of those lines is worth a lot less. So this line right here, we got paid 30 cents, but if we got that line on dollars on bells, we'd have gotten paid uh, three bucks. I actually would have, I should have been, I'm at 50 cents. It'd have been three bucks though. I just know that because I've played the dollars a lot. Bells are three, if you get two on bells, it's worth three. And then the other symbols is worth two dollars, except for the face cards. They're not worth anything. You got to get at least uh, three, three in a row. All right, we got a thirty-four dollar line hit on the pennies. We get a bonus though. I'd like to show you guys some big, the, the big numbers you can get. Just not coming together. You're seeing them flash by, but they're not hidden. There we go. All right, see, there's a hundred dollar ball. That's what I was talking about. I see those bigger numbers on pennies for five dollars maxed out. I don't know why, but you just see it a lot more often. You got a fifty and a hundred. Well, I mean, I explained to all my reasons why. That's my thought process on it. But it's not like I got an owner's manual to this machine. See, I'm getting a lot more minis because they're only worth 10 bucks. Where the other one, I didn't get any because they were $250, right? That mini's a lot harder to get. I mean, I've seen really big numbers flash through, right? Come on, any number, any number. All right, it's done. Well, I'm glad I went back to pennies like I said I wanted to. All right, we're not quite back to even. We're putting 400 total. I'll play it down to, oh, we're close to 400. I'll play it down to 300 and then be done. I think the video's uh, long enough and I don't have a whole lot more to say about this topic. But if you guys got other questions about this topic, let me know. But other machines that are very similar to like this, Lightning Link, any of the Dragon Link, Lightning Links, right? They're all very similar. Those, the further to the right you go, the numbers, the numbers tend to get a little bigger. The miners and minis are gonna be is easier to hit because you're closer, you know, those numbers are closer to your bet. It's not because statistically they're easier to hit. It's just because it's, oh my gosh, I get two more, right? But it's because $50 is like getting that ball, right? We're on dollars, that is $1,250 ball. How can you see a $1,250 ball? Very rarely. <laughs> 40 bucks for, oh, almost, almost a 400. Come on, get us a break even. Five lines of queens worth 11 or oh, $10, then we got a little bit here. I don't need to point out the line hits to you, sorry. 380, now we're only, we got, that was our highest, 380. Come on, get it. You can't get that third pot. here to 300. One more shot at it, come on. 
Let's get it right here. One more. Nope. All right. There you guys go. This is a long enough video. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, that. If you got any other questions on that topic, definitely let me know. If you'd like me to make a video about a different topic, you know, kind of explain some things, let me know. I'd be happy to do so. I'm just trying to make uh, everybody a better slot player as I can. Let's go, Hampe. And John, thank you for asking the question. I appreciate it.